Hello parents, I have a question for you that I need you to ponder. Do you ever find yourself in a constant cycle of, I'm sorry, I'm sorry mommy, I'm sorry puppy with your kids, even when they seemingly haven't done anything wrong? It's like living in an apology avalanche, right? Well, you are not alone. Today, we're diving into why our little ones seem to be apologizing for everything under the sun and more importantly, how we can help them break free from this sorry spiral. If you're visiting us for the first time, I'm Dr. Tanisha Burke, your positive parenting coach and welcome to our channel. And I must say this topic that we're discussing today came from our viewers, one of our viewers. So if you're viewing and you have a parenting question that you'd like me to cover, please ensure you leave it in the comment section or you can email me. The contact information is on our main page. And if you're not a subscriber, we encourage you to subscribe. This helps us a lot with the algorithm to connect and to reach out to more parents. As parents, it's natural to feel proud when our children display manners and empathy. But what if those apologies start to feel excessive? You may find yourself wondering why your child constantly says sorry, even when they haven't done anything wrong. This behavior can be puzzling, but understanding its root cause and responding with support and guidance can help your child develop confidence and assertiveness. Let's dive into why children may apologize excessively and explore strategies for nurturing their self-assurance. So as we dive into the causes of why a child might ap apologize excessively, I encourage you to grab a pen and paper and as I point out the different causes to reflect if there's any chance your relationship with your child might have any of these causes. After you've done the reflection, we will then give you the tips and tools that you can use to change that dynamic. The first cause for over apologizing is that your child is overly polite by nature. Some children are raised in environments where politeness is highly valued. As a result, they may, might over apologize as a way to adhere to societal norms or avoid conflict. The second cause is that your child might have a fear of rejection or punishment. Children who have experienced strict discipline or criticism in the past by their parents may apologize excessively as a defense mechanism. They might fear negative consequences if they don't apologize even for the most trivial matters. The final cause may be related to the fact that your child is seeking approval. Children naturally crave approval from authority figures, including their parents. Apologizing excessively might be their way of seeking reassurance or avoiding disappointment. Now that we've identified three causes of why a child might over apologize, we're now going to shift gears and give you the tips and tools that you can use to help your child to be more self-assured so that they don't need to over apologize in the future. The first tip is to validate their feelings. When your child apologizes unnecessarily, acknowledge their emotions without necessarily accepting the apology. For example, say, I understand you feel bad and there's no need to apologize for accidentally bumping into me. So all you're doing is just focusing on validating their feelings and not necessarily looking at the apology because the apology is very trivial in, in this matter. Anyone can bump into another person. It doesn't have to be anything dramatic. So just focus on the fact that they have feelings and move on from there. Our second tip is to model assertive behavior. Demonstrate assertiveness in your own interactions with others. Use phrases like, it's okay, accidents happen, or no need to apologize. Just be more careful next time. Your child will learn by example. Third is to encourage self-reflection. Help your child recognize when an apology is truly warranted. Ask questions like, do you think you did something wrong or are you just feeling guilty? This encourages them to think critically about their actions. Fourth is to praise confidence. Notice and praise moments when your child demonstrates confidence or assertiveness without apologizing unnecessarily. Celebrate their self-assurance and reinforce positive behavior. 
Fifth is to create a safe environment. Foster open communication and assurance with your child that they can express themselves without fear of judgment or punishment. This builds trust and reduces the need for excessive apologies. Sixth, it's important that you teach your children problem-solving skills. Instead of immediately apologizing, encourage your child to find solutions to minor conflicts or accidents. This empowers them to take responsibility for their actions and resolve issues independently. Seventh and final tip of the day is to be patient and consistent. Changing ingrained habits takes time. Be patient with your child and consistently reinforce positive behaviors. Celebrate small victories along the way. Let's take a quick recap of looking at why children apologize excessively and what to do about it. First, they might just be overly polite based on the cultural norms. Secondly, they might fear rejection or punishment. So it's important as parents that you assess your interaction with your children. Are you being pu too punitive with them? Do you suspect that your child might fear you? If that is the situation, that is something you need to change within yourself and within the dynamics of the relationship. And third, they might be seeking approval from you and others to show that they are being a good child. So assess your family dynamics and interactions and see which one of these fits your experiences. Now, let's review what you can do as a parent when your child is overly apologizing. One, validate their feelings. Two, model assertive behavior. Three, encourage self-reflection. Four, praise confidence. Five, create a safe environment for them at home. Six, teach problem solving skills. And finally, be patient and consistent. Excessive apologizing in children often stems from a desire to please others or avoid conflict. By understanding the underlying reasons of this behavior and responding with empathy and guidance, you as parents can help your children develop confidence, assertiveness, and a healthy sense of self-worth. Encourage your child to apologize when necessary, but also empower them to stand up for themselves and express their thoughts and feelings without unnecessary apologies. Together, you can cultivate a positive and confident mindset that will serve them well throughout their lives. We hope that you found today's content informative and we would love to hear from you. So be sure to leave your comment in the comment section and please share this video with friends and family who may benefit from the content. Thank you so much for joining us and goodbye for now.